All right, we are now in day four of our full deep down review of the Trolls World Tour times Pure Cosmetics collection. Uh, I did pick it up, the bundle set. I picked that up on Memorial Day when they were doing a really large sale. I got 35% off of it. It retails at $98 and I paid around 60 for it. Now it includes a face palette, a lip gloss, and six eyeshadow palettes, one for each genre that is represented in the movie, genre of music that is. So that being said, we have decided to really change challenge uh, our, reviews, our review abilities here by not only using the palettes to create a really cool look, but to also create a full ensemble that represents the color and the musical style that is uh, at hand with each palette. So we have done pop, rock, techno, and today is funk. Now, if you couldn't guess based on my headband, the color scheme is purple. Uh, I luckily had an old dance costume from when I was a small child that I am donning the pants of, and the, this was actually made from the, the hem of the pants because I was much shorter back then. So yeah, we've got a pretty fun outfit to go with it, and I have hopes that this is actually going to be a really cool eye look. I will say this palette, in my opinion, just on initial inspection, is one of the least, uh, the most underwhelming or uh, least, I guess, engaging just based on the aesthetic of it. It's a really pretty neutral purple palette. For funk, I really wanted a little bit more of like these bold, purple, vibrant statement colors. And you've got like a really pretty kind of, it's still a neutral purple. You've got a dark purple and you've got some like brown purple shades, a really nice highlight shade is what I would call this. And then the center shade is pretty, but I just was hoping for a little bit more with it. So I may be completely blown away when I put it on my eyes, but uh, that's enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's funk this up, okay? Do you get what I did there? Like like, like the bad word, but I said funk. So we don't need to bleep it for, for YouTube. So, okay, sorry. All right, let's do this. Um, So what I'm thinking, I've uh, kind of given a breakdown, a game plan, if you will, so you guys know what my strategy is. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a base of um, probably just to get all of the colors used. I'm gonna do a base of this. I'm gonna go over it with this, probably around the same, maybe a little bit lower. It's gonna be very hard because my bangs for my hairstyle are like right in my face. So it'll, that'll be fun. So we're gonna do the light shade first, this darker shade, and then we're gonna go in most likely with this darker shade on the cor the outer corner. I might, I haven't decided fully what I'm gonna do between these two colors yet. Uh, either I'm gonna blend this into the darker shade and kind of make it a little bit lighter and then go in my center lid with this one. And then we'll do the highlight as this one. That way we get to use all six colors. Or if I don't feel like that's going to work out as well as I'm hoping, then this will probably be my lid shade and we won't use this guy. I hate to not use him because he's like the, the centerpiece. He's like the, the eye catcher. He's like, you know, the nipple of the palette, if you will, where your eyes go first. The eyes are the nipples of the face. So um, I hate to not use him, so I'm gonna do my best to make sure he gets used. It would be ideal if we can use all six, but uh, we'll do our best. So let's let's jump in. I've talked more than enough. So this one that we're starting off with is the lightest shade that I, uh, I mentioned to start. Actually, so this actually has a little bit more pigment than I was expecting it to. I mean, it's still very light, obviously. That's what the, the shade is meant to be, is a light, nice kind of, what I would call like a base shade, which is what I'm using it as. It actually has a nice little purple undertone to it, like a very soft lavender. Like like if you've ever bought something that's like, the, the fragrance is like hint of lavender and you're like, what is that? It's a hint of lavender. That's what this color is. That is this color in a, in, eyeshadow form, it's hint of lavender. But I like it, I'm, I, that, that was, it made me sound like I was like judging it harshly. No, I'm actually excited because I thought it was gonna be a lot more, um, a lot more, less purple, more neutral. But I like it because it's the purple palette. We want it to be as purple as possible. I wanna look like Barney up in, yeah. Just kidding, I don't wanna look like Barney. I've talked a lot on the show about Barney on our channel, I show, like what are we? What are we, sponsored by NBC? No, no, I've talked a lot on the channel about Barney and uh, I don't know why. I know I watched a lot as a kid, but I like don't ever think about it. But then like, I'm like purple Barney. And I guess it's cause I use purple a lot. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe it's just cause I'm losing it. So we got that done. We're gonna go in now with the darker shade that I talked about, the slightly darker shade. And I'm gonna just start off doing this here, kind of giving it some dimension. Oh yeah, that's really nice. It's like very buildable. It's doing a good job of kind of just adding to the lavender, the hint of lavender that we had going on before. I'm liking I'm liking what we've got going on. I'm shocked because really, like I said, I this was one of those palettes when I first looked at it, I was like, I'm kind of underwhelmed because I love purple so much. And that's probably makes me a little bit biased because I have a ton of purple eyeshadows and eyeshadow based palettes that are purple. Eyeshadow based palettes? 
purple based eyeshadow palettes, I think is what I was trying to say. I don't know. Words don't need order. Once say I do ever anytime. I'm like on a whole nother level today. I'm sorry, I don't know. Maybe it's the headband squeezing my brain. I, it's possible. I don't know. Any, any who's, any who's it. It's actually doing a lot better than I was expecting because I was expecting to be a little bit underwhelmed just because I have so many purple shades in my collection. And I, these really didn't grab my attention like on any special level. But the Techno palette, which we did yesterday, I was in love with when I first saw it. And a couple of the shades really made me um, a little disappointed if I'm being 100% honest. So I'm kind of like excited that these are turning out as, as um, pretty and pigmented as I was hoping they would be. Cause they really are just like doing a great job of kind of like getting in there and doing their business. Which is, I mean, like if you're gonna have an eyeshadow palette, you want it to do its business. You don't want to have to do its business for it. God, this hair is killing me, you're killing me. Okay. We're going in with dark purple now. Dark purple, gonna go on out of crease. And then I think, because I really wanna use all six colors, I think I am going to use the bright purple as a blending shade into what we've got going on with the hint of lavender and the slightly darker hint of lavender. So I guess that would just be lavender. Um, we have hint of lavender and then lavender, that would make sense. But um, yeah, so I think that we are going to do our best to use all six colors for this palette because I think it's it's possible. I think they will all play well together. So let's do that. Okay, so off camera, uh, I did start with a dark purple on one eye uh, and then the, this really got in my way. So I put a headband over my headband because you know, big brain. So yeah, I started using the darkest shade. It is very rough right now, but I did just want to get a little bit of uh, Nikki had to walk out of the room. And so I can't, I don't know how to start the camera. So I was just like, well, I'm just going to sit here and do this while I'm waiting for him to come back. But um, I like it. It is a little patchy. Uh, I don't know if that's because I've got other shades under it or if it's just the formula. It's a little patchier than I was hoping it would be, but it's a pretty color, um, pretty standard dark purple though, if I'm being honest. It's not really vibrant. There's not like a whole lot of meat to it. It is looking like there's definitely fallout on my highlighter. I can see that. So like, I, this is not my favorite shade if I'm being honest. And I, I don't think that it's, I, I think it's just not the best if I'm being a thousand percent honest. It's not, you know, not the worst. It's just not the best. It's like just looking a little chunky and patchy and I don't know. That's, that's how I'm feeling about this shade. Now, of course I go in and do it incredibly rough. So it's not like there's a lot of precision to it. I'm just kind of like patting it on there. So like maybe it's also just my technique. That's, that's possible too. I've done this technique with other shades and they don't normally look this, uh, this patchy. So, all right, but we are going to go in with the light purple and we're hopefully that will be our saving grace. Now, the one downside is this light purple is a little bit um, metallic and I don't normally do, oh, pretty. Oh, it's, yeah, that's doing a lot better. That really fixed that purple area like a whole bunch. If I'm being 100% honest, that just went in there and was like, don't step aside, step aside, I'm, I'm here. You called me, you summoned me and here I am to make your life just look a little bit um, less disheveled, which, <laughs> Anything that's gonna help me with that, I am all for, let me tell ya. I'm gonna do it on my under eye too, to kind of clean up some of the dark purple areas that I did under my eye. Yeah, and it's not that reflective. Like there's a lid, just a touch of shimmer that you can see, but that really did a great job of like, I mean, you can see like, here it is before, here it is after. Like that really went in there and like did a just, it was just kind of like, step aside, here I am. Let's make this look nice. Like, I, I, I like it, I like it. I am very glad though, cause it really is not as reflective as I thought it might be. I'm very glad I chose to use it in this manner instead of using it as my crease or my crease, as my um, lid shade. Cause I don't think that would have worked very well. I think it would have just been very very neutral and, and kind of underwhelming. So I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad that we uh, we made this, this last minute choice. I wish like fixing my life and like the world were this easy. <laughs> this little eyeshadow can only do so damn much. So really did just, it just made like an absolutely nice blending shade. Really, I really am very, very fond of it. Very, this is probably my favorite shade so far in the, in the whole palette, which doesn't surprise me because looking at it, that was the one that drew my attention the most. So not surprised that I liked it as much as I did. Definitely nice to see it work well. You know, things, looks can be deceiving. Sometimes you're like, this color looks like it's gonna be gorgeous. And then you're like, oh my gosh, what the heck happened there? You had so much potential and then you're this. I think that's what my parents said when I graduated college. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces, worn out. For some reason, making this face, I can always see where it's like patchy. So I'm always like- You talking to me? Like it doesn't look patchy there, but then I go, I'm like, eh, it's a little patchy, so. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone because it's at this point, I'm just, it, it, it's not really doing a lot. So I'm just gonna, yep. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna clean up uh, the inside. You guys have seen me do my makeup before. Uh, I normally go in with 
my little concealer. I use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer because it's absolutely trash for everything except for covering your eyelids before you put on um, makeup. And I will say, this is the reason why, if, you, if you've heard me talk about it and I haven't explained why, it is incredibly sticky. And so when you put it on under your eyelids, it's creaseless, but it creases more than any freaking uh, concealer I've ever used in my whole life. So because it is so sticky, if you put it on your eyelid and then you dry it down immediately, it actually kind of acts as like an, an eyeshadow base with that that glueiness, that that tactileness that you need to absorb those colors and those pigments. So really for that purpose, it's awesome. For any other purpose, I would highly recommend you do not waste your money on it because it's not like they're cheap. They're like $26, which is what, you know, I think tart, the regular shape tape is 27. So it's the same price. All right, cleaned up, sufficiently cleaned up. Let's go ahead and finish this bad boy off. We got two more colors to use in this little palette. We got, Ooh, there is some bad fall, I will tell you guys. Like on the pan, there's some pretty terrible fallout. But um, so we got this boy, this, this one's right here. He gone right here. And then we've got our highlight shade. The highlight shade I actually think is going to be really, really pretty. I hope the um, the glitter shade is also going to be very pretty, but we will see what winds up happening. <gasps> Yay. Yay, it's pretty. Yes. It's dark, which honestly for my inner like, I wanna say like, I always wanna say it called the wrong thing. For this area, my lid area, I like it to actually be a lighter shade personally. It might not have been a bad idea to go in with the shade I'm gonna to use to highlight and use that as a lid shade. But that being said, I really wanted to use this the, the center one as we talked, as I lovingly referred to it as the nipple of the palette uh, earlier in this video. I really wanted to use him and to get a feel for how he worked. Cause I think that those center colors really are very important. Um, because they are they are they are the the one that kind of draws you in. They're the one that's got the pattern on it, and hopefully they're one of the strongest shades in the palette. Logically, that's how they would do it at least. So um, yeah, so I, I did want to not show you guys what it looked like. Uh, I would probably not do this particular style again with it, just because I would prefer. I think it would look so much better if this shade were a little bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take I'm gonna do my highlight, and I'm gonna run a little bit of the highlight shade over the dark purple area too. Although that, the highlight shade even is a little bit dark. Interesting. It's much darker than I thought it was going to be. Almost like a dark silver. It doesn't really have that much purple. It's like very silvery. All right, this is what it looks like before mascara. Let me put on some mascara so we can get a full picture of the final product and how much I liked it. Um, I will say while I'm doing my mascara, I will go ahead and rank them. Obviously the stats are, are a little bracket for these little bad boys. It had, it had gone previously. Um, the rock palette was my favorite, followed by techno and then followed by pop. Well, now that we're throwing this little guy in the mix, I'm gonna actually say that just because of that one really pretty bright purple color, the one that I said I was the, the one that I was most excited about that I really, really liked, this will probably rank third. Definitely is not better than the Techno palette. It is definitely not better than the Rock palette, but I still think it's better than the Pop palette. And I only say that because I have a lot of purples and a lot of pinks, but I feel like there's a little bit more variation from the purples that I currently have in this palette than there is variation of the pinks that I have in that Pop palette. So that's why I'm ranking it that way. It may not, I mean, everybody's gonna be different. Obviously it's what you're looking for, what you already have in your collection, what you like to wear personally. For me, I really think that the, that pink palette is, should be good, but it's just very redundant for what I already have in my collection. So that's why it's still ranking last. Sounds harsh, but I just, if you look at the video, if you watch that video, the, the pink eyeshadow was just kind of like, it was pink eyeshadow. Like it did, there wasn't a lot of variation. There wasn't a lot of color gradient and that, you know, so they're, you know, they're all factors in this, this uh, June bracket instead of March Madness bracket, it's the June bracket of the Trolls, the Pure Cosmetics palettes. So that's kind of why uh, my logic is what it is on the subject. That is how it's ranking. I will be very interested to see with the last couple palettes, which are much more neutral. Um, we've got Classical, which is kind of like a golden palette. And then we've got Country Western, which is kind of like a 
an orange based palette, but it's still a very like neutral brown orange. So these are much more subdued. I would say more versatile palettes. A lot of, a lot more people might be drawn to them if they are less into colors. For me personally, they're the two that I probably would overlook, even though they're both really pretty. Um, just because I typically go more for the purples, the blues, well, not blues, but I just really like this blue palette for some reason. Um, the purples, the pinks, the even the rock that had the really pretty like deep maroon color in it. That's normally when I'm buying eyeshadow palettes, that's normally what I go for. All right, this is the finished product. I like it, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's not my favorite though. So that's kind of where we're at. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the Dark Angel family yet, please consider doing so. Uh, just hit the little subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we post videos. Like I said, we've got two more videos left in this series and uh, there are four previous ones, three eyeshadow reviews and then the unboxing of it. So if you guys wanna watch those, definitely check them out. Um, like I said, the rock uh, eye look is one of my favorites. So if you guys haven't seen that one yet, I would highly recommend watching that one. And other than that, I hope you guys are all just staying safe and you're well and uh, you have a great day and stay girly with a dark twist.